1998 at the British Council, there was um, a seminar that was talking about information technology in the West African region. From the records that we had, we needed to place emphasis on women and children, and particularly on children, that children are going to find information technology quite interesting, quite exciting. We there and then decided that we were going to come up with a non-governmental organization that can be a support to the government and would begin to train children. They have inspired a generation of children and youths to identify and develop their talents and gifts in information and communications technology for social and economic development. They have ignited the passion of children in opening up their minds to be empowered through access to enormous capacity provided by ICT. This is 2015 and they have kept this legacy burning for 15 years with the desire to build a viral capacity for the nation by exposing children and youth to information and communication technology and investing them in ICT skills for the future. This is the story of Digitest, an offshoot of Digital Pairs International and its 15 years of building a new world for our children. Digitest is uh, the flagship program of Digital Pairs International and this program started about 15 years ago. We started with the effort of uh, Mrs. Kondishoti. It's a non-government, non-profit organization that uh, is portended to popularize ICT among young people, among women and among children. When we started, a very, very rare opportunities, understanding of what the computer can do to support processes. We started running with just doing some basic IT training for young people in various places. And then it occurred to us that maybe what would sell would be that we should actually have competitions for young people. So in 2004, we were in uh, um, Ogun State, number one, we were breaking cultural barriers, number two, we were exposing our children to every part of the country. And by the time these children finish, in the two weeks of camp, they have forged relationships. Some of them are keeping to today. My own children are classical examples. They are keeping some of the relationships they formed many years back in uh, Digitals. In fact, when the Sokoto boys came and they got to Ogo State, it's as bad as they didn't expect that the, the sand would be as it is in Medjugorje. 
many of the friends that I made like over 10 years ago at camp are still are still my friends. And then we went to Olumorok, we went to various places in Ogun State, they were fascinated. And that excited us again and brought a new dimension. Yes, 2004. As West Africans and as Nigerians, let us resolve and let us face the challenge and let us be determined that we must continue to make steady progress to bridge the digital divide, the gap that is existing between our children and the children of the developed world, that that gap must be filled. Um, I was able to go through the hill, through the cables there. So we saw the, we saw the hills, the different buildings, and I heard that they do have festivals here every year, February. So the place is a very nice place, and I'm, I'm, happy. I'm, I'm very, 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 very happy. All right, would you happy. like to come again as a yeah. Over the years, Digitas have exposed its participants to the outside world, giving them the opportunity to interact with their contemporaries in a more competitive infotech environment. Where are you now? Which country are you? I'm in Singapore. Which country are you from? I'm from Nigeria. So which program did you come for? I came for Digitest. Can you tell us about Digitest? Uh, Digitest is a non-profit organization which is aimed at cre uh, creating IT awareness among youth. same since we started. I cannot in any way compare the level 15 with level 1 when we were all struggling um, using the mega income at our own disposal to finance the programs. Digitest has taken its developmental strides in ICT across Nigeria with relevant themes supporting various sectors of the Nigerian economy. Its yearly peak is the two-week ICT orientation camp organized to promote ICT education and interest among youths so as to raise a generation of children who are information and communication savvy. But it does not just end there. The two-week ICT orientation camp brings something to shout about every year with an array of different games and activities. Let us go back to 2011, a year where Digitests took its summer camp to the city of Akure with the theme, Renewing Energy, Improving Power, with tutors putting the children through on how to build models for sustainable power supply using 3D and Cinema 4D apps. This is a hardware process industry. For many people, it's a Um Right here, we are not only renewing, using renewable energy, but we are also creating our own energy. This hydraulic press creates a compressive force, and energy is the ability to do work. This compressive force is used inside the industry to, to do work. You can see our estate is powered by wind turbines and solar panels. The, the wind turbines are powered by by strong wind. They contain an electromagnet, which when they move at a particular rate, they, 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 they 
from an electromagnetic field that creates enough power for electricity. The solar panels are types of mirrors that trap energy from the sun. They are used to power the houses, they are used to power the pumping machine and the gasoline station for the cars. When we started moving from one school to the other, one, the motive was that we'll create IT awareness so that people would know that the future is about information technology and we're beginning to see it now. This windmill powers these crops here, which enable the marketers over here to have free access to their crops. And as you can see over here again, we have business transaction buildings here, which is business communication between the marketers and other marketers from different places. As you can all see here, we have solar panels here. These solar panels generate electricity to this whole market here. And when I mean constant generation of electricity, I mean constant generation of electricity. Ladies and gentlemen, panel of judges, agri panel of judges, join hands in welcoming change in Nigeria to our side seat. Every child must be able to interact with uh, digital equipment as easily as possible because you're going to get to a point that everything that you do will be digitally based. And we are there now. In 2004, I got to learn about um, web design. I got to learn how to um, write programs. I also got to meet a lot of people. I participated in Digitest for, I think, three, four years, 2004, 2005, and 2006, and 2007. And then um, in 2011, I came as a volunteer. Say you are 90 years old, many years away from now, 90 years old, and you sit down on one chair that is rocking you back and forth on left and right, and you are evaluating the life that you have lived so far, you are 90. If there have to be a newspaper publication about you at 90, what would you like them to read about you? What would you like people to sit down and read about you? The venue for Digitest 2013 was Birmingham International Schools, one of the best schools in Kwara State. The theme for Digitest 2013 was ICT, a key to transformation. 2014 was remarkable as Digitest marked its 15th anniversary. FCT played host to the participants with the theme Agricultural Transformation Using ICT. Controlling uh, program. And my children, just like many other children who have gone been through the programs, have been very excited about the content, the quality of delivery, as well as the the, the impact that it has had on them over time. With a well-robust curriculum, Digitest has become an opportunity to encourage children to dream big and help them believe that they can achieve these big dreams. It might interest us to listen to the children tell us what drives their motivation every year to be a part of Digitest. Hello friends. My name is Yenok Bonyonga. My name is Edmund Vivian. I got to know about this just from Mrs. Odushote. Mm, my aim is and objective here yeah, and my expectations here yeah, to be able to know more about the ICT and the computer studies. I got to know about, about Digitest when I went for Girls on ICT Day in Abuja. By God, grace of God, able to create my own mobile app and lots of more things. I expect to get a lot of things from Digitest. When I'm out of here, I'll be able to do more about computer and be able to get my own application when I go back home. I've been in Digitest for the past four years and it has been a nice day. I expect to be a pro, for example, to be an ICT expert, to know a lot of things about computers and to make a lot of friends. Respect.
irrespective of your status, Digitest must surely have a place for you. Digitest, in all its inclusive nature, have designed its program to accommodate the fiscally challenged. Five years ago, when the National Coordinator emailed me about this, it was an exciting moment for me that somebody can be running an inclusive program. What I mean by like that, many times you discover that every program I have seen so far in Nigeria, well, I'm sorry, but it's true, it's exclusive. For DG, test, DBI, short, runs, an inclusive program. Um, so, what do you think about DG? I think it's a wonderful experience. I wish I were young again. I enjoyed myself um, coming here, um, uh, testing my brain against your very young and a large brain. And um, the beautiful thing was I learned more, I think, than what you got from me. And, and uh, I enjoyed myself. Uh, and I think it's a great idea. I've promised that I'll send my own uh, children here next year if they will allow them to come. The children have taken the future into their own hands. This is what Digitest inspires them to do, and they've shown zeal to change their own world. One that made me so happy with um, the students we had this year was the kind of ideas they came up with. They came up with revolutionary ideas that I think, if implemented in Nigeria, would change Nigeria's ICT sector. At one of the editions of Digitest Summer Camp, the children hosted a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He came with words of advice and encouragement for the children. This goes the mile to show that this event is indeed recognized by the Nigerian government who have adopted Digitest as a program that has come to contribute to the development of the economy. No matter what we aspire in life, no matter what our expectations are, once we do our own part and commit the rest to God, God is so wonderful, He's so understanding, He knows the end from the beginning, He knows the beginning from the end, and He will ensure that He blesses each of our every effort with His abundance. Thank you. They teach you leadership, and they teach you teamwork, and they teach you, um, and they teach you how to be competitive, but still, but still, like, but still friendly. Indeed, Digitest has come to transform the face of ICT in Nigeria, in particular, and the world at large. It emphasizes the development of quality youth leadership, promotion of role models on youth issues, and inculcating godly values in the children. Rejuvenation of our nation. We have to have it. We have to shout it. We have to live with it. And we have to it. Digitest is growing a number of children committed to making an everlasting impression on the sands of time. These children are the next phase of information and communications technology. Digitest has given them a rare opportunity to change the world. We had contributed immensely to whatever has happened in the information technology world in Nigeria. Fifteen years in the uh, program that is targeted to young people could be seen as an attempt actually to put something along the line for youths that would affect them all their lives. So that looks a short time. If you are a DG test here in terms of you are here on this program, already it is clear that the direction you are being trained and groomed into is one of distinctive global leadership. It's not just about being able to work in a computer. It's not just about being able to interpret what you are being given, but much more importantly, that you are able to innovate. Digitest has achieved its objectives. And in actual fact, the, the founders and the proponents of Digitest are beginning to think of some other um, areas. So we are forging ahead. 
we are also changing our objectives, refining our objectives, we are refining our strategy, we are believing that the quality of outcome uh, in subsequent years from the camps, uh, from the workshops and trainings for the young people will be better. As Digitest celebrates its 15 years of existence, the national coordinator, Mrs. Odushate, looks back in fulfillment. She is set to take this program to another height. We had not stopped since 2000, but this year we are not holding anything Digitest because we want to do a roundup and be able to know what is the next step for Digitest. I will tell you that in the next few years, the, the focus of Digitest will shift from bringing children together into camps, into doing things that are online, into still being able to achieve the objectives that originally we set up Digitest for, but without physical uh, camping. So we lend our hearts and voices, yeah we'll make a choice.